this is Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. In today's video, I want to offer a quick review of Gambit, the new game for Destiny 2. I don't have a complete game to post because I'm having a hard time with people quitting. I'm playing alone, and so far twice, I've had the other team just flat out quit playing. Cowards. Cowards all of them. I am so against quitting that when matchmaking put me into a game all alone, no one on my team from the beginning we spawned in like that, I didn't quit. And neither did the other team. They won, but I don't quit. And I thought me staying there, me against the other team, was going to be a pain in the ass. And it wasn't. It was fun. My overall quick review is, to keep it simple, this game is awesome. I am having the best time playing it. So let me just try to break down how the game works. And please bear with me, I've only played it about five matches so far. I don't have any expert tips at this point. I can just kind of give you a quick overview of the game so you don't go into it blind today. Or Tuesday when it drops officially with the Forsaken expansion. When you first load into the game, the Drifter will flip a coin and let you know what ads will be on the field with you. If you're lucky, it's mainly Fallen because they die quicker. When it's Cabal on the field, uh, they're a little harder to take down. After the flip, you face off against the other team where you can taunt them with your emotes or make some last minute adjustments to your equipment. A few moments later, you spawn into the match and the Drifter will announce where some of the first ads are going to spawn into the game. Now in this part, you're gonna wanna kill as many of the ads as you can find. These ads drop moats that you need to collect. The low level ads drop a single moat, whereas more important ones drop multiple moats. These moats stay on you until you bank them or you die. Try not to hold on to them for too long because if you die, you lose them. They don't drop for someone else to pick up, they're gone. At least that's how I noticed it. Now, before you can deposit these moats, and after you've killed enough ads, in the center of the map, some higher level ads will spawn in. You need to take them all out. They're not too difficult to kill, but once you do, the machine thing that you can bank the moats in will rise up and you can start banking your moats. Two things happen when you bank them, or when you bank enough. First, the more you bank, the more enemies you can send over to the opposing team's side. It'll help keep them distracted, they're things that will be shooting at them, and keeping them from doing things like killing the primeval and coming over to get you. Second, the more you bank, the quicker you can get your primeval to spawn in. When it does spawn in, it'll spawn into that center area where you've been banking the moats, but it will spawn with several other high-level adds. The faster you can kill the primeval, the faster you win the round. The things you need to worry about at this time to keep killing the adds and focus on the prime evil. The opposing team is probably going to be sending someone over. Only one person can go over at a time. They'll be sending someone over to try to kill you guys to slow down your progress of killing the prime evil. What's cool is that they don't appear on the map. The drifter will tell you when one of them spawns onto your side. And there's a timer that appears on your screen letting you know how long the enemy from the other team has left on your side. Also, keep an eye out because that opposing member will be like a bright red color. It makes it easy to snipe them or pick them off at a distance. Say it's cool because the same applies to your team when you send someone over. Note, it's not so much a team decision. The drifter will announce when the gateway is open to send someone over to the other side. And if you happen to be close and have ammo and a super or whatever you think you'll need, you can jump through it and start taking out members of the opposing team. I first did this with a sniper. I took out two of them before running out of time. The second time, I didn't get anybody, and one of them was able to kill me. The third time, I went in with the colony, and it seemed to be pretty effective. So, in a nutshell, the, the way this game goes, kill ads and collect the moats they drop. Then, kill the ads that spawn into the center of the map in order to make that thing rise that you can use to bank your moats into. Then, keep killing ads and depositing moats until you get enough to summon the primeval. Then, try to kill him before the other team kills theirs. There's a total of three rounds, best out of three wins. I recommend on your first few times, just working on killing ads and banking the moats. It can seem a little hectic at first, but listen to the drifter. He always says what's happening. He warns you when the other team is sending someone over. He warns you when you're close to banking enough emotes to summon the prime evil. Give it a couple of rounds to learn the mechanics and pretty soon you'll be killing it in the game. So. 
have some fun. And if I learn anything else significant, I'll be back tomorrow with another video to get us all ready for Tuesday. And that's about it for this. Remember, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's always appreciated. And if we could get 1,187 likes on this video, that'd be great. But most of all, thanks for watching.